Welcome back to my channel for Tester Tuesdays where I try out products for the first time on camera with close-ups, check-ins, and my final thoughts and reviews at the end of the video on who I think these products might be geared towards. I try out products so you don't have to and hopefully this will help you make a decision the next time you're in the store on what to spend your hard-earned money on. I hope you guys enjoy these reviews. Let's move into the product. Today I am trying out the Dior Skin Air Flash spray foundation for the first time. Sephora came out with a spray foundation recently, but I thought I would try out the original before trying out the Sephora brand. I picked up the shade 300 Beige Medium or Medium Beige, and I'm really excited because I think most people who have tried this have enjoyed it. My skin is clean primed with some moisturizer and some SPF. I used the Glossier Priming Moisturizer today because my skin is feeling a little tight and dry. Just so you guys know, if you're new to my channel, I have combination skin, very dry around my cheeks and my chin, oily T-zone. It is about 100 degrees outside in Southern California. It says to shake well before each use. I'm gonna apply this side of my face first and then blend it out with a brush. And then I will do a close-up so you can compare it. And then I'm gonna do this side of my face, blend it out with a damp beauty blender and see how it all wears. I'm a little nervous. It says not to spray into your eyes. Hopefully I don't get it in my eyes. Oh, I'm scared. Wow, that covered it quite nicely. Hmm. That looks amazing. Okay, I'm gonna bring you in super close. Now, this side of my face has the foundation on it and you can see that it just looks flawless and airbrushed. I could probably build it up just a little bit. It feels really, really nice. And then this is the side that has no makeup on. Love the blemish, don't you love the blemish? Anyways, you can see that it looks flawless. It's I have both sides of my face on now. I used the Beauty Blender to kind of just blend this side in a little bit. I basically did two sprays on this side, two, three sprays on this side, the th but I didn't get a full spray because I was like a little scared. So this is definitely giving me a really nice, beautiful finish. It looks completely flawless right now. Just look at my forehead. I'm gonna actually do a bonus. I'm going to be using the concealer, the Dior Skin Star Concealer sculpting brightening concealer under my eyes and I have the shade 002 in beige so I'm going to apply that under my eyes right now so you guys can see that as well. Wow I love this concealer too. This is okay guys, I have the rest of my makeup on except for my lips because I'm still drinking my smoothie. So I really love how this looks. I feel like it looks airbrushed. The most bestest thing ever about this so far is that I was able to apply my foundation super super fast. Four pumps, two on the side, two on the side kind of blended out and I had like a medium to full coverage airbrushed looking face and it worked beautifully with my bye bye pores powder loose from it cosmetics I really like the concealer it's just how it wears and I'm outside in my car so this is how the foundation is wearing it is really hot let me find out how much and I just walked I'm out of breath it's right now 95 degrees outside I'm by the beach so it, it's really hot where I live um, I'm not I don't live by the beach but anyways you can see that just, it looks really flawless. I'm starting to glisten a little on my nose, which is typical, especially when I've been like active and walking in the sun. So, so far so good. You guys can see that. Natural light outside, using my vlogging camera, super HD, no filters. I think it's pretty impressive. Hey guys, I'm home now. It was like a two hour traffic jam. I'm, it's 5.30 in the afternoon, but I'm on camera right now. I don't typically, I don't typically do another check-in like this, but I'm a little shiny right here. You can't really tell, see my sunglass marks? I'm gonna touch up a little on camera for you so you can see because I am going out and I also wanna try and film a quick channel trailer right now. So, 
what I do when I'm not super oily but I'm looking a little shiny, I take my brush from earlier where I dipped it in my loose powder, Bye Bye Pores, It Cosmetics, and I don't add more product. I just go like this. That's it. When I zoom you in, you can see that the coverage is still there and it still looks nice and flawless. The concealer is still there and I probably could reapply if I really needed to. The coverage is there. I'm just really oily in my T-zone, but I do have an oily T-zone and I did not use a mattifying primer today. I used a hydrating primer because my skin has been really odd with this hot weather. Do you like how my lipstick is like all over my face? So that's it close up. I'm just shiny and it looks even more shiny under my studio lights Final thoughts. tonight. Not necessarily the most mattifying. If you have oily skin or combination oily skin, you're going to need to use a mattifying primer. Keep blotting sheets and powder on you, especially if it's really hot and you have oily skin. It's just been so hot today and I've been sweating a lot, so it definitely isn't going to keep me matte. But I do love the coverage. I love the application. I love the finish. It's a porcelain flawless, poreless, medium to full coverage, super, super fast to apply, really lightweight. It feels beautiful on the skin. It doesn't feel like it's rubbing off or anything like that. It's not sticky or tacky. It just is a beautiful airbrush in a can. So if you don't want to invest in an airbrush kit or airbrush kits actually are a pain to clean and like deal with sometimes. So this is a great like on the go airbrush look without having to have the airbrush kit. It is a high price item. So it's not something I would say you must buy this and use it every day. This is a product I recommend if you have events coming up, if you want that airbrush finish look for photography or special occasions or date nights and things like that with no SPF, with that flawless medium to full coverage, quick application, and you want to keep it in your arsenal and you have the budget to do that, then yes, definitely try this out because it's so, so fun to use and I do love, love, love the application of it. And I just think it's a great product. I'm really impressed. For the Dior Skin Star Concealer, I actually really like this. I don't think it's super long wearing, but when I did the close up, you could see the coverage was still kind of there. It's definitely been hot. It didn't, it didn't crease or do anything weird. It definitely wore nicely, but if I want it to last longer than eight hours on a hot day, then I'm going to have to carry this with me to kind of touch up, especially if I want to look put together at like eight hours, nine hours, 12 hours. But I feel like for most part, other than my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes, most of my under eye concealers do need, need to be touched up if I'm going to need to wear it for longer than like eight hours because it just, it's an area that product wears off on me. I do like it because as it wears off, I'm not getting any weird discoloration, I'm not getting weird buildup, and I'm not getting any weird creasings. I like how it doesn't accentuate my under eyes or my fine lines, which can happen. And I think it's a good concealer. I'm definitely going to keep this around, and I'm definitely gonna keep this around, and I'm definitely gonna play with it some more. So keep an eye out on my channel to see how I am loving it. I always do updates on my Friday favorites videos, my monthly favorites videos. I hope this product review helped you out. So if you've tried either one of these products or if you tried the Sephora dupe, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I think by sharing your experience and your personal little quick review and what you feel about the product down there can really help everybody. So where do you live? What kind of skin do you have? And what do you think of the products? Are you going to try it out? If you have tried it out, give me a little mini review down there so I can learn from you and everybody else can learn from each other. So hopefully we can start a little conversation down there and we can help each other out. Now, if you are new to my channel, I am Serene and my channel is Dress Yourself Happy because I believe in helping you find your inner beauty through your outer appearance. I hope my channel can help inspire you to feel your most beautiful and most confident. And if you do, please remember to subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope you come back and watch more of my videos. If not, Peace be with you, and I hope the best for you. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye. Cooper's enjoying himself on the bed. Do you guys see that? Are you mooning everybody? Do you guys see him mooning you guys? <laughs> Cooper, what are you doing? Are you being 
bashful. Do you want to say, oh, Dolly now wants to be seen. Oh, why are you shy now? And Cooper just jumped off the bed. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye, guys. <laughs>